Hi, and welcome to this Digital Tutors training kit on Metal Ray rendering nodes in Maya. For the next few hours, we're going to be exploring some of the Metal Ray nodes that you're going to be using most frequently when setting up your Metal Ray renders, and we'll look at how they can be used to very quickly give your renders a sense of realism. So we're going to look at some of the various nodes and how they can be used to simulate objects with uh, properties like soft, glossy reflections. We'll take a look at how some of these nodes can reproduce things like car paint, and we'll also have a chance to take a look at how subsurface scattering can be used to create, uh, realistically, objects with properties like human skin. Now, also, we're going to be taking a look over how some of these metal ray nodes can be used to create realistic lighting effects within your scenes. So we'll explore how metal ray's photonic materials can be used to create things with these really, really nice caustic light patterns. And we'll have the ability to see how we can import and actually use real lighting data from various light manufacturers. And we'll have a chance to see how some new features of Metal Ray can be used to give us very realistic lighting with really very little effort on our part. So by the end of this training kit, you should have a very solid understanding of how these nodes work, both on an individual level, and you'll also be able to understand how some of these different nodes need to be connected and used together, so you can begin creating your own renders. All right, so we have a lot of material to cover over the course of the next few hours. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and get started.